So good morning, everyone. Hi, this is Janesh Kota here from Wisdom Commerce Classes, and welcome to our video of French. So, students, from today's video onwards, I am going to record the chapters of CBSE Section 10 Standard, and I am going to record one by one all the chapters of your entire 10 Standard syllabus. So, students, if you go on my YouTube channel, you will find a lot many already been recorded French lectures, and uh, all the grammar topics that you guys have in your 8, 9, 10 CBSE section have already been recorded. And it has been uploaded on YouTube, so you will find the same on my channel. You just have to find out, uh, uh, write the name of the topic that you're looking for. Okay. So what am I going to do? Very special from this video onwards, students. If you see, I have already recorded my 11th standard and 12th standard Maharashtra board French textbook, entire textbook I've solved. So similarly, students, the plan is to solve entire textbook of 10th standard and 9th standard CBSC section also. So I'm going to record one by one all these things so let's start today so i'm very excited to teach all of you cbse students i hope you guys are similarly uh, or equally excited to learn from me so students shuru karenge ab hum aaiye ab hum directly jaate hain hamare we going to go directly to the first chapter uh, the first chapter of your textbook and the name of the chapter first chapter is it's ratruvo no zami so if you see you already have a textbook i assume you guys have your textbook Ratrugonozami and students there is some pattern and there's some style that I follow while teaching. Uh, so maybe it will take you one or two chapters or one or two videos and thereafter you will understand what exactly my pattern is and believe me it's going to be super fun and you're going to enjoy it and at the same time you're going to learn everything nicely plus you will get all the solution on my channel. So let's start Ratrugonozami or students I just want to tell all of you that before starting with this part okay if you are completely new to my channel please subscribe to my channel like the video and you can just go and tell to all of your cbsc friends that janissa is going to record each and every particular chapter and uh, just uh, share the playlist also with them thank you so much so i assurance abam shuru karenge the first chapter the name of the chapter is ratruvo no zami that means let us find our friends okay ratruvo no zami so what am i going to do students whatever things i keep speaking i also tend to write so i'll just go write over here let us find our friends so it will be easier for you guys to understand uh what exactly am i saying fine Chalo. Aage badenge, students let's start so live voila there it is there are them so there are them and look we already have we are going to zoom this part a little i am going to read each and every sentence in french and then help you with the english translation so let's start you can write it down at the same time Nous avons déjà rencontré. So it's a passé composé. It's a passé composé. We already met this piece, this people. We already met this people. Do you know them? Question mark. Let us present them. Let us present them. Students, don't worry if you just miss out any of the word. I have already written each and everything. So look, if you can see over here, I have the written part. I have the written part of the entire of the entire page number. Which page number is this? Just let me check. This is page number four, which you can see on your screen. And what I will be doing is once I complete saying the entire English translation, I'll come on this page. You can take a screenshot at the same time. So if you have missed any of the words that I spoke, it will help you. This page will help you take a screenshot of it very quickly. Fine. Cholo. Now coming back. So do you know them? Let us re let us present them. Akansha Sati, she is 17 years old. Okay, she is in terminal L. Look on the on the end of the page, it's already written over there. Terminal L means basically it's literature. So Akansha has chosen literature for her career and her brother name is Kunal and he's 18 years old and he is right now into science section. Okay. So terminal S, that means he has chosen science field. Fine students. Their father works. So their father works in the embassy of Indian embassy in France. So there's an embassy in France, Indian embassy and his, uh, their father is working over there. Their mother is a professor. Is a, she's a uh, Indian classical music pro professor and they live at the Rui Balzac. So that's the address they live over there. Voisin Nargis et voila Ali. So here is Nargis and there are Ali. They are Senegalese. So she was the name of the country is Senegal. Senegal and people who live in Senegal are called as Senegalese. Their parents live in Dakar. So now we're talking about Nargis and Ali. And their parents live in Dakar in Senegal. So Dakar is the is the, is the capital of the country, Senegal. And their father is an IT engineer. He's an IT engineer. He works at BIBM. So it's the name of a company. Who works? The father of Nargis and Nargis and Ali work over there. And here is Pauline and Dennis. They are French. So we have two more characters over here. 
and their name is Pauline and Dennis, and they are French people. They are all friends, and this all, everyone, every one of them are friends. Okay, vive l'amitié is live long the friendship. So uh, let's assume that uh, the friendship is going to go long, long way. So since this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain you each and every line very nicely and systematically, and at the same time. i'm going to give you the english translation also if you have skipped any of the word you can take a screenshot of this part and uh, and you can just get through the entire english translation nicely fine chalo so this was my page number 4 now moving for students next page we are going to go to page number 5 when there are a few questions to given to us i am going to make this part a little small fine chalo so this can stay here as as of now So we're going to go to students page number five now. Let's go to page number five, and it says that say true or false. The first question that we have is the mother of Kunal and Akansha is a professor of science. Okay, so the question is, I have written here. I have written the English translation and answer. We have written here. Side side me. So the mother of Kunal and Akansha is a professor of science. The answer is false. So right answer, guys. Students, the mother is a Indian. music classical okay indian classical music professor second the parents of ali and nargis lives in paris so again it's a false statement they live at dakar in senegal third is kunal is 18 years old and it's a true statement it's a true statement over here i have written very very means true and the last is ali and nargis from senegal so they are senegal so again it's a true statement very they are senegal means they belong to the country senegal nice So now, students, moving forward to page number five itself. Now, this is a comprehension which I have, like, uh, I have been uh, finding quite difficult. Students have been finding quite difficult, and I've noticed that. So what I've done is, again, students, for this page, if you see, I have written the entire English translation over here. If you want, you can take the screenshot at one shot so that you get the English translation nicely. And then, what am I going to do? I am going to that page so I can explain you the entire part nicely. So, Bastia, what is this, students? Read and answer the following question again. It's a comprehension, okay, given to us on page number five. Who saw no Zami? Where are friends? Where are our friends? Where are our friends? friends? In Corse, okay. What is Corse, friends? Corse is a is an island in France, okay. Corsico, you know, we gana na matter kash ti kuli sadak pe Ranbir Kapoor wala. So even that part has been recorded in Corsico. It's an island in France and it's a very very beautiful. So especially for you guys, what I've done is look. If you can see, I have here Google view open करके रखा हुआ है for you guys, and you can see Corsico city. So at the same time, what am I going to do? Is I'm going to help you because when you just hear the name of the city, uh, you can have some imagination. But the photos will surely give you a perfect imagination or a view of what the entire Corsico city is. Very very beautiful. You can also Google it out and see some photos. So coming back now. Here is a letter sent by our friends of this island. So here is a letter. So the letter has been sent to us by our friends, and they are already on this island. So let's see what they are doing over there. Let's start. Dear friends, okay, where are they? Bastia, thirtieth August two thousand. I don't know. Look, the letter has been written by Akansha. Akansha has written this letter, and uh, she is writing the letter to her friends, and she says, "Since Kethra Jure, we have been settled in Corsico. It's been four days. They are in Corsico, in the south of Bastia. Okay." And it, it's in south of Bastia. We are we arrived with the rain, so we arrived here. Passive composer used here past tense. We arrived here with the rain, but now the weather is the beautiful weather has come down. Okay, and island is not big, so the students island is not very big, but it's beautiful. So new some lodge down the camp that wall. So students, क्या लिखा है? We have been settled in a camp. Okay. तो बच्चे लोग देखो हम मैंने ये camp का भी यहाँ पे कुछ photo click करके already रखा हुआ है. You can just see it's a normal camping that you guys must be going over there. It's a camp. So, and it is not a big luxury. It is not honestly. It is not a big luxury. But 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 for the vacations, but it is perfect for the vacation. Vacation के लिए काफी अच्छी है. This visit of me, you know, it makes me think of a visit on island of Andaman Nicobar. So Akansha is saying that Corsica has reminded me of Andaman Nicobar Island in the Gulf of Bay of Gulf of Bengal. I passed a very beautiful vacation there. So I have like we already passed a very beautiful vacation over there with my family last year. We visited Port Blair. Again, so what is Port Blair? I am going to show you all the photos and the end of the comprehension. Okay, Port Blair is also place in in Andaman and Nicobar Island, a small animated city in the middle of the sea with a lot of coconut trees and some hills. 
Here we can go to the sea. We can go to sea and we can go to the countryside at the same time. So students coming back on Corsico, you can go to the seaside also, mountainside on the same day. The Anguil de Bavela. What is that exactly? We will see that as well. It's a name of a place. Very, very beautiful. There are small of there are a lot of small villages, and you can find a lot of villages over there. In the center, there are there are crops of oranges and lemons, a lot of fields, kheti wagera bolte na agriculture. One also sees there are some animals like donkeys and sheep and horse hai, and pigs be a pigs. The point which you see on the postal card is called Cap Cors. So students, uh, the point that you see over there, Cap Cors. We are going to see the photos of Cap Cors also. In the middle, there are a lot of Shetejnir. So let's see what exactly Shetejnir is. Uh, chestnut trees. They are called as they are chestnut trees. And in the south, there is Beneficio. Again, Beneficio is the name of a place with uh, with its sides of it and its villages. So we'll see exactly what are they. We'll see the photos. Our vacations are going to going to soon soon going to finish. You can see students. This part is in the future prosh. This part is in the future prosh. Our vacations are going to soon finish. And Elsa passed Bia. They are passing by very good. Ah, Bia, toh Bia, toh see you soon. See you soon. Gross bees. This is how you end a letter. Gross bees. Gross bees means fat kisses. बोल सकते fat kisses. So students, खाली एक बार discuss कर लेते थोड़ा बहुत चीजें. Akansha has written this letter and she has written this letter to her friends. She was in Corsico for four days. She has enjoyed a lot over there. Her visit of Corsico reminds her about Andaman and Dubai Island. Okay, and uh, she has described a lot of things. Okay, the Port Blair and uh, Bonifacio and all these different different places. So let's do one thing, students. Let's go on internet part. And what I have done is I've already opened all the slides over there, which will be quite useful for all of us. So you can see Port Blair over here. Port Blair. Okay, so it looks so beautiful. So many beaches, and it's all about water, water, and nice. Okay, sure, great. What else do we have? Next thing that we have is over here. We have a, this is a orange and a lemons. Okay, agricultural. And the next thing is students on. So we know already donkeys and sheep's and camels. Not camels, sorry, horses and pigs. So you guys know all that already. Cap Cos. Students, look. Cap Cos is the name of a place that has been mentioned. The comprehension. Look how beautiful it is. Cap Cos. It's almost seaside. Looks beautiful. The next thing we have is uh, chestnut trees. So you can see the photos of chestnut trees. You can also Google them nicely. We can find them here. And next thing is Beneficio. Beneficio. Again, students, if you see the place, it's amazing. It looks great. Looks like a castle or what? It's a palace. Yeah, but the place looks amazing. Okay. Chalo. So students, make sure that throughout the book, whenever you are studying French, make sure that you Google all those places so that you can really imagine them at the same time that you are studying. Okay, and you get to know exactly how cool these places are. So, respond to your question. Now we are on page number six, and uh, what I have done is students, the question answer part. I have already typed each and everything for you guys. Um, uh, question number six. The first question says, "Ki a ekri la lotra? Who wrote the letter and to whom?" So students, the answer is. Akansha has wrote the letter to her friends. Okay, nice. Usse through Akansha. Where is Akansha situated right now? So Akansha is situated in Kors. Kors is a Corsico island in the south of Bastia. Come so how are the Anguil de Bavela? Okay, the Anguil de Bavela are very beautiful. So you can see in the comprehension, they have already they are already all only described the Anguil de Bavela are very very beautiful. So what we can do is, हमने ये A I G U I L. हम इसको भी Google करके try कर लेते हैं. What are this? What is this exactly? Le A I G U I L. Grill the Bavela. So let's see how cool that place is. Okay, it's more of a mountain, mountain thing. Nice. चलो. After that, going with the fourth one. Kel Tom Fuzzy Hill. What was the weather? What was the letter? Okay, this is M Parfait Past Continuous Tense. When they arrived in Corsico. So, what was the weather when they arrived in Corsico? Students, so, उन्होंने बोला था that we arrived with the rain, with the rain, rain, rain. तो हमने भी empire for use किया because उन्होंने भी empire for use किया है. Empire for is past continuous tense. So, it was it was raining when they arrived in Corsico. They arrived in Corsico. Great. So, what we have done is we have completed one more question of page number five. Moving forward through with all the text. So now what do we have to do students next thing that we have is find in the text find in the text 
the first question is the contrary the common sale what is the opposite of common sale so the answer is termine termine means to finish common sale is to start termine is to finish the noun form of pluvoir students they have given us a verb and now they are asking us to find the noun form of that particular verb so pluvoir ka noun form kya hai students la pluie la pluie learn this learn this okay aapke board exam ke andar aane wale cbse ke andar they will be giving you any verb and they can ask you the noun form or else they can give you the noun form and they can ask you the verb form okay the next is name of two animals of the farm so students maine yahan pe muton aur kushon likha hai that is ships and pigs the contrary the party the opposite of party so students what is the opposite of party that is arive arive great so students what i have done is i have already typed everything so that you can just copy it down nicely and you can listen to me and you can get the right explanation of it okay so look great so as after this next this part is something that i'm skipping right now page number 6 okay we have jacques prevert it is very very famous poet in france okay you can just google him out look he, he lived almost 77 years he he was died in 9, 1977 but very very famous personality of france okay he has written a lot of lot of poems and and a uh, very romantic poem especially and he's been very very famous uh moving forward students the text of prave is constructed at the end of pronounced by helme okay fine so this part is not will do okay so next part now we have is something really very important okay i'm going to do this this part mm, was in list so here is a list of the words fill the phrase make some phrase according to the example so students we have to make phrases but according to the example so we pehle example read karenge okay according to given example attention to the orthograph orthograph means spellings ka ekdam dhyan rakhna majuscule u minuscule so are we going to write the majuscule look over here the first letter over here that they have used in the majuscule the caps me likha hai okay and but over here when you see they have not used the caps part okay the, all the letters are small so going to pay attention for that and let's read the example la champagne champagne same region so when it's a region make sure that you have to write in the capital form c it's a feminine noun la champagne but la champagne masculine noun say of so it's a name of a wine if you use the masculine form la champagne it's a wine but if you use the if you use the feminine part it is the name of a region but both of the name are completely similar so students we have six more sentences in front of us so the first one that we have is camembert So look, if you want to see, I have already typed all the answers over here. So first is Camembert and Camembert a une région of fromage de cette région. So students, what do we have? Camembert is a region, is a region, and it's a cheese of this region. अच्छा, what you guys can do? अगर आप लोगों को चाहिए बच्चे लोग, आप एक ही बार में पूरा स्क्रीनशॉट ले लो. आपको चाहिए. लोगों मैंने नंबर वाइज सारे के सारे आंसर्स लिखे हुए. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the next thing that we have, next thing, you must already be having your textbook. So, assuming that you guys have textbook, we are on page number seven. We are on page number seven. Second is a cognac. So, show what is cognac? Cognac is the name of a city. It's the name of a city. And say a brandy, the set will. Again, it's somewhat like alcohol or brandy from this city. Third, we have is Rockford. Rockford is the name of a region, and it's a cheese from this region. So, when you see the capital form, it's the name of a region. But when you see a smaller part of it, it's a name of a cheese. Fourth one. La Bourgogne, Bourgogne is again une région. It's a region, and it's a wine of this from this region. Fifth one, La Brie. So La Brie is a region again. It's a region, and it's a name of a cheese also. So students, what they do is, every particular region has their own speciality of cheese. It is said, it is said that in France, if you eat one type of cheese in a day, it will take you more than three hundred and sixty-five days, entire year, to complete all the types of cheese. We don't have so many types of cheese in India, okay? But in France, people are mad about cheese. They are food lovers and a lot of wine and beers and stuff. Bordeaux. Next is Bordeaux. Say in commune. Commune is a community. Bordeaux is a community, and the Bordeaux is a wine from this community. Okay, it's a name of a wine also at the same time. So all the similar names. So you guys have to be very much be sure about the capital part or the small letter part. Okay, pay attention on that. Great. So. We are done with 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 page number seven as well. Now moving forward to page number eight, students, and let's see what we have on page number eight. So students, shash lamo and su. What does that mean? Shash lamo and su. What does that mean, students? It means odd men out. 
So I've already typed all the answers and questions at the same time. First one, where Vinyoblo Bondage where? So the first answer is where 20. Everything else is somewhere related to wine students, but where is a number? So where is the number? Others are related to wine. Everything is written over here. The reason also has been written, but you don't have to write reasons in your board exam. You just have to write the right answer. That's it. Second is fromage, fromage, fromagerie, fromant. So fromage is a wheat, whereas all others are cheese, name of cheese. Okay, it's somewhere related to cheese. Third one, parfum, parfumé, parfumerie, parfait. So the answer is parfait. Parfait is to perfect. It's a verb. Parfait is a verb, whereas everything else is related to perfume. Fourth one, chocolat, chocolaté, chocolaterie, shock. So the answer is shock. Shock is to shock. Get shock. But all everything else is related to chocolate. And going to the last one, the answer is le mode, L-E, okay, masculine noun, which means le mode is more, when everything else is related to fashion. So la mode, la haute couture, la maison de couture, it's all fashion house, okay? So that is related to fashion. Great. Oh, moving forward, students, moving forward, what do we have next part is, so students, we have matched the following which says, so we are on still page number eight. So let's go to page number eight. And it says, rapproche le the party. So basically students match the two columns of each proverb. They have divided the verbs into two parts and they have given us into two particular columns. And all you have to do is you have to match them. So let's start first one. Il faut battre le fer quand il est short. So students, what I have done is I have matched the answers for you. And at the same time, I've also written the English translation. So strike the iron when it is hot. Okay. So koi bhi mokha nahi chorna chiz hume students. Lua de zio, lua de cue. So out of sight is out of mind. So ye bhi hume suna hua hai. If it is out of your sight, then it is of course out of your mind as well. Pierre ki rule. So a rolling stone gathers no mass. Pierre. So a rolling stone. Students, if you keep jumping from year to there, year to there, you have to get settled down in your life, in your career. Okay. And that will help you to become successful more faster. Fourth one, les bons comptes font les beaux amis. Good accounts make good friends. So when it comes to money, students, you have to be good to people. So that will help you to keep your friends for a long, long, long period of time. Si la jeunesse savait, si villes pouvait. If youth knew how old age could. Okay. So students, this means it's very deep. If youth, agar youth, young logo ko pata hota how it feels to be old. Okay. You could have enjoyed your young. You have to be very lucky. Feel lucky since you guys are very young. This is the right age to enjoy your life and to learn new skills and you grab all the opportunities. You're at the best, best time of your life right now. Okay. Moving forward, sixth one students. And sixth one, it says, plus on est de fou, plus on rire. More the merrier, the merrier. It means students, more. Okay. So, kai kai life mein aapko crazy bhi hona ta, pagal hona ta, so that you can enjoy your life nicely. No matter how old you grow, you keep that, keep that innocence in yourself. You keep that being that conditioners in yourself always. It will always help you to don't take your life too too seriously. Okay, enjoy your life and just be happy. So when the wine is done, it must be drunk. So since when you get the opportunity, it should be taken. Make sure that opportunity, you should not lose an opportunity. Always be ready for it. Okay, no matter how small or how how big the opportunities are. Avec des siomètres Paris dans une bouteille. With if we would put Paris in a bottle. So students, if we could put Paris in a bottle, it means that if we could do impossible things, we could do some things like that. That's what it's meaning. Hai. And next is, Tute Bia Ki Fini Bia. We all know that all wells that ends well. Okay. Ant bhala to sab bhala. Le pati ruiz font le grand rivier. So small streams make big rivers. And small streams, I mean, what are we going to do with small streams? What are we going to do with small Badi success mein wali hai, to sare chode chode efforts ko kabhi stop mat kiya karo. Put all the small efforts and it will surely lead you to a great place in your life. Okay. Moving forward, students. So I hope you got the right answers. Now the next thing that we have is complete awakeless adjective demonstrative. So students, how many complete adjective demonstrative that we have? So we have sir is for masculine noun. We have C A T is for masculine vowel. We have C E T D E is for feminine and we have C E S is for the plural form. Let's start with the first one. Voila une view de haute. So here is a view of the height of the Montparnasse Tower. Look, look at the shops. Plural form is C E S. 
and look at this world, the entire world people. So, so this John, these are the people who are doing shopping. Look at this entire people. These are the people who are doing shopping. And Raga just said Tour. Tour is a feminine noun student. So C E D T E Iga. So that Tour fell. So students, you can see Eiffel Tower. Raga just said Grand Cathedral. Look at this big cathedral. It is Notre Dame. Okay. So this place is Notre Dame. Next is a Sir Immobile. And this building, Sir Immobile. And this building there, it is the Magaza F N A C. So it's the name of a shop. Next we have is nu voila the whole museum. So we are there in front of the museum on throw. So let us enter by this entrance. C E T T E I ga. This entrance. Come on, say. So let us start by this room. Let us start by this room. Observe is a tableau. It is in the plural form. Look at this paintings. Observe this paintings. So portrait. This portrait, the one of Colbert. This man has constructed. This man, ah, it was the main finance you know advisor of the louis 14 great so, so what am i going to do is i'm going to do the english translation at the same time i'm going to help you with the answers also moving forward moving forward and where are, we are we almost on the last page of the of this chapter moving forward and we are on the page number nine so we have a lot of exercise over here Put the articles definite or indefinite or contracted. So, students, what do you have to do is you have to read the answers. You have to read the English translation. How do you identify whether I'm going to put definite article or indefinite or contract articles? It's quite simple. All you have to do is all you have to do is read the English translation accordingly. Put it. So, India is a peninsula. Okay, is a peninsula. Peninsula is a feminine noun. Peninsula is a feminine noun. Students, this is the one here. Delhi is the so Delhi. One precise students. It is the capital. Capital is a feminine noun. Is the capital of India. In India, there are a lot of places to visit. Oh, North. Okay, so capital like Oh, North. At the North, there are beautiful monuments. Then we have is at the South. At the South, there are magnificent temples. So, since you have indefinite concept temples, I don't know. So, there are some magnificent temples. India is a big cultural heritage. Come, La France. And France, Ekdam particularly France, what have you here? Hamko precise bataya France from then Islam in a definite article use kiya hai. So India is a mosque is basically it's a mixture of culture. So my answer is Yun. Yun is a, a, a mixture of cultures. Great. So here we have completed exercise number four. Moving forward, exercise number five now. Met le verb au présent. So put the verbs in the present tense. Put the verbs in the present tense. We have to use present tense. So starting Lamata in the morning, Ravi Aminer. Aminer is basically to take his children. Take okay. Aminer is the e dash e ending verb. But chalo, man, iske upar bhi alag se video bana hai. Semi regular verbs. You can go and you can see e dash e ending verb. It's a semi regular verb. So first, ye jo e shun jaapi e grava jayega. So Ravi takes his children to the school. They quit the house. They quit the house. Q U I T D E N T. They quit the house at seven o'clock. Then Ravi. Pron present tense. So show some of you. Ravi takes the bus to go to his office. At noon, il mange. At noon, he eats at the restaurant. He eats at the restaurant in the evening. Before coming back, before returning, il fe. He does shopping. He does shopping. Safam. His wife goes to search the children, and his wife is going to search the. Children, perfect. So, we have done all the present tense conjugations. Quite simple. We have done many years of present tense. Not a big deal. First is no finish on the while. Finish on higher ending verb. So, I guess so. When is it going? We finish our work at six p.m. No throw. My Marie, my Ton, my Ton. Okay, so so my husband is waiting. Are you ending verb? So, we are ending verb here. So, we will write are you drop? We will write a t t e n d. My husband is waiting for me at the bus stop. No prano again irregular verbs is highly regular irregular verbs. Up look up and young, but you look no prano the metro. We take the metro to come back. So one who was is was it I running over for sure to drop IR and then you add the ending. I s s o n s no was is or we choose a R E R R E R. It's a name of a train which is more faster. We are no songs and finally we are at our place in 15 minutes and we are at our place in 15 minutes. So we have completed entire question number five first part, which was completely present tense. Now moving forward to the next part, we have passe composé over here. So, what is the rule for passe composé? 
So when you're writing passive composer, you should know the rules of passive composer. That has to be subject pronoun plus conscious verb et or avoir plus past participle. So, but you kabhi et or kabhi avoir kaise pata chalega? Okay. So, students, kya karenge? Jab wo 18 verbs aenge, 18 verbs, so hum et ka conjugation dalenge 18 verbs. Or us 18 verbs ko chhod ke. So, which are those 18 verbs? Okay, okay. I don't know where is it. Wait one second. I'll help you to find out those 18 verbs. Give me just one second. So students, you can see these 18 verbs on your screen. Ye wo 18 verbs hai students, jo hamesha etra ke saath, paase kambose ke andar etra ke saath jate hai. Whereas isko chhod ke, agar isko chhod ke ka, baaki koi bhi verbs aage students, to wo saare kaha jayenge, avoir ke saath conjugation hoge. So I hope you guys have already taken the screenshot of it. Okay. Chalo. Coming back now, coming back. We're going to start with this part. Or question number two, put the verbs in the passe composé. So an N for Matician means an IT engineer of India from India narrates his arrival in France. So an IT engineer is going to narrate what exactly he did in France. The first one is just we arrive. Arrive students, we are conjugate just we arrive. So I arrive. Here we arrive in E acute. Lag jayega. ER ka E acute. Subject pronoun is coming. Children, then etra, sui and past participle. ER ka E acute. So I arrived at Paris 15 August 2010 and she So I searched. I was so subject pronoun, conscious verb, avoir plus past participle. And I searched work everywhere. I searched work everywhere. And offer je trouve. And finally, and finally, I found a work at Bordeaux. So students that an IT engineer, he found a work at Bordeaux. Bordeaux is the name of the city. My farm name is offer my wife and my children sovereign new sovereign new so etra plus past participle you have extra s dalro but look plural form may say as i extra my farm the question is you my farm have a wife ladki hai and children ladka ladki kuch bhi ho sakta hai so you see myself you have extra s dala hai extra agreements kab lagte hai sif or sif etra wale me extra agreements lagte hai otherwise extra agreements nahi lagte hai avoir me agreements pp agreements nahi 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 lagte hai so my wife and my children came in 2012. In 2015, we bought. So students within three years, that we bought, we bought. Oh, oh, oh. Matlab, France mein lena, koi sasta to hai. We bought an apartment and now the entire family. A Tutla family. So students, you can see over here, Tutla family. Tutla family is a feminine singular. This is feminine singular. Okay. So I L form consider karunga. Main mind mein kya soch rahu? L form soch rahu. to the entire family. L A rest. Te, or extra e dal rom extra e kyo aega bachilo because feminine noun hai to etra me agreements lagte the entire family remain in france great so it's a very good story within few years students unhone ghar bhi ho gaya bachche bhi ho gaye wife bhi ho gayi sab kuch hai life all settled next is an artist narrates his journey so now the second thing is an artist going to narrate his story his journey and it says yes ye come on say yesterday i started my work at nine o'clock. So nine a.m. is nine morning, nine o'clock. <coughs> news our fe, news our fe. We did, we did some drawings till noon. So we did some drawings till noon. He's an artist, so obviously must be doing those drawing stuff. Then new some ale, ale students. Avoir ke saath aayega, nahi etra ke saath aayega, etra ke saath aayega. Or ek extra s bhi likhenge, hum log kyu extra s likhenge? Because ye agreements lagenge. New some ale. We went to have lunch. Then news our travaille. Then we worked. News our travaille. A V O N S T R A V A I L L E acute. News our travaille. E acute. I guess friends. E acute. We worked till six o'clock, and and oh ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. So six o'clock the kam kia. A news our ferme. News our ferme, and we shut our workshop. A tailor is sort of workshop at seven o'clock. Great. So students, I hope you are able to see the answers properly and you can hear my voice also nicely. If you have any, anything, any doubts, the way I have been teaching and uh, the way I've been typing the answers, the way I have already been written, all written the answers and so that it becomes a task easier. But students, if is there, is there any feedback that you guys want to want me to make any changes in the way, in the pattern and the style that I'm teaching, you guys always put in your comment section. So students, if we look here, we have almost completed the entire chapter. Uh, there's an S letter part over here, but I'm not solving letter part. 
because while teaching to my master board students also all the letters and writing skills we did that in a different video so similarly i'm going to solve all the exercises grammar topics and the comprehension part but writing skills is something that we're going to keep for the end and once we are thorough with all the other topics writing skills we can do by the end not a problem so students you can see the next page i discover so there are a few uh, photos given to us this is festival of music this is tour de france this is a cycle race and then festival the avenue these are cultural festivals and this is cannes cannes festival festival of cannes and then over this is film festival of goa so you can just google it out all these places do not miss or do not skip it these places are amazing and every particular place a lot of lot of stories and history in it okay so students aaj ka ye video yahi pe hum complete karenge it was great and amazing to start today's video i was very excited since a long time that i'm going to start teaching to cbse students i'm going to make sure that i'm going to record each and every chapters videos line wise and i'll come up uh, and get it done with entire this textbook thank you so much students if you guys have anything else that you want to speak you can let me know i'm going to put my contact number personal contact number in the description uh so i have also been taking lectures on zoom online lectures on zoom so if you want to uh, learn french with me personally one on one you can contact me and we can talk about that as well and um, all the best and please like our video and subscribe to our channel and put something in the comment section what did you really feel about the video was it really helpful or not or maybe if there's anything changes that you want me to do okay so thank you so much friends we're going to meet again and again soon It was nice having all of you. Bye bye. Take care. Enjoy.